Hey team, Alex here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's workout which is a mega dumbbell chest and triceps workout. We have seven exercises for 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest of three sets overall. Are you ready to work hard? Let's go. So let's get started in a body weight warm up for a few minutes. 30 seconds in each exercise, starting with jogging on the spot. Take nice deep breaths, get your mind focused, ready for a big workout. into a torso rotation, twist from side to side, twisting in the hips, soften the knees, take your hips from side to side, open up the chest and the shoulders as you look behind you and your elbow drives backwards. Come down onto the ground into a child's pose to cobra. So open up the knees, sit back, lengthen through the spine, and then breathe and drop your hips forwards, elevate the chest, lengthen through the stomach, the hips, start activating the shoulders and move between those two positions in your own time. Okay, stay here for a knees down push up. Knees down the floor, get your push up position, slowly down, push it up. Slow down, push it up. Start to activate the chest, shoulders and triceps. Get that mind to muscle connection. As you push up with those pecs, slow warm up those joints. and then just lift your knees off the floor into a high plank. Lock out the arms, spread your fingers, connect with the floor, pull in the belly, and continue to activate and warm up those joints and muscles before we start lifting the weights. And final seconds in a floor tricep dip, fingers facing forwards, lift your hips off the floor, bend the elbows and push to the top, tricep dip. So warm up those triceps, gonna be working them hard. Final few seconds before we get started in these seven exercises in a circuit. Okay, good, rest there. Make sure you're staying hydrated, have a drink and rest whenever you need to. And let's get started in the timer of 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, starting in the first exercise, which is a hammer push-up. So grab whichever dumbbells you have, whichever dumbbells you want, into a hammer push-up. So bring the dumbbells to a hammer position, meaning they stay flat, no angle. And we're gonna push up off them. If you wanna do a push-up on the floor, then that's fine as well. Knees down version is up to you at any point. Are you ready for exercise one? As soon as we click start, there's no going back. Let's go. Non-stop timer. Here we go. Elbows tuck into the side of the body, slow down, push up to the top. Over halfway, keep going. And remember, knees down is always an option throughout this whole workout, especially as those muscles really fatigue towards the end. Good, well done. We're gonna take it straight into a chest press. So lay on your back and grab whichever weights you have for a chest press. 
So we're doing this on the floor, obviously. If you have a bench, then you can of course use a bench during this workout. If you're just on the floor like me, then that's fine. Here we go, chest press, elbow comes down. You can tap the floor or just leave an inch above the floor and then push up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you go down, open up the chest and then push up strong to the top. and rest there, well done. We're gonna take it straight into a reverse grip chest press. So what we're gonna go for here, you might be able to use the same weight, depending on what weight you have. From here, turn your palms facing towards you and the elbows come down to the side of your body and then push up from there. A little slight different angle in the chest, let's go. Keep that angle with your palms facing towards you. Slowly down, keep your upper back flat on the ground. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Really great one for across the pecs, front the shoulders, and especially those lower chest muscles as well. And rest there, well done. I'm getting attacked by the mat. <laughs> so what is next exercise? Next is the hammer chest press. We're gonna stay here for the hammer grip. So keep those dumbbells in the chest press position, but now a hammer stance, palms facing inwards. Let's go, chest press again. Another angle, palms facing inwards, elbows narrow to the body, driving up to the top. Now start thinking about that mind to muscle connection with the pecs not just the shoulders and triceps, but keeping your elbows narrow up and to the top and squeeze in the middle. And rest there, well done. Enjoy the rest. These seven exercises all happen without any rest. We're gonna take it straight into a chest fly. So you might need something a bit lighter for a chest fly. I'm just gonna make it easy and turn around. Grab my lighter dumbbells on the floor, bending the elbows. Let's go, chest fly. Elbows in, palms in. Tap the floor, squeeze it into the middle. Open up that chest and squeeze it in. Good, well done. Rest there. And let's take it into the next exercise, which is a tricep extension on the floor. So, keeping that same grip, palms facing inwards, elbows narrow. We're gonna do a tricep extension from here. Drop them down to the side of your head and extend up. Squeeze those triceps to the side of your head and then to the top. Keep it going, keep pushing. Good, 
Good, well done. Shake it off, we're almost there. Let's take it into a standing tricep extension. Into the kickback. Might need something slightly lighter for this one. Tilt forward from the hips, elbows up, and we're gonna push backwards into kickback. Let's go. Drive those dumbbells up as high as you can. Lengthen the spine. Keep going, almost there. Drive those arms up. Well done, rest there. That is the circuit, okay? That's one round complete. We're gonna do that for two more rounds after a 60 second break. So shake it off, rest, recover, grab a drink, stay hydrated, and then we do it again. Halfway, 30 more seconds rest. Okay, get ready for your hammer push up. On the dumbbells or on the floor, up to you. Hammer grip in four, three, two, one, we are in round two. Here we go. Halfway, keep going, stay safe, stay strong, drop the ego and make sure you're staying smart training. If something hurts or gets too hard, regress it back. Well done, let's take it into the chest press. Standard chest press to begin with. Here we go, chest press, shoulders back and down, drive it up. Well done, getting that, getting the pecs working nicely. Let's take it into the reverse grip this time. So palms facing in towards you, still in the chest press. Palms facing in. You have the option in this one, if you want, you might get a bit more range at the shoulder and chest. If you come up into a bridge, check it out. Elbows down, palms in, stretch and lift. Also get some work in the glutes and hamstrings and create that slight decline shape in the spine. And rest there. Good work. Get ready for the, the hammer chest press. 
So we've got three chest presses in a row <clears throat> and three sets of it. So lots of pressing. But it's good, it's how we're building that upper body. <clears throat> Palms facing inwards. Here we go, elbows tight to the body. Drive it up. Keep going through the burn, through the pain. I'm with you. It burns. Good. Epic work. Then we take it into the chest fly. Here we go, chest fly, bend the elbows, drop it out to the side, squeeze it into the middle. Remember, it doesn't matter what weight you lift, as long as you are pushing yourself, staying safe, and putting tension under the muscle. Rest there. Moving into the final two exercises, which is all about the triceps. Starting in the tricep extension. In a lying position. Here we go, elbows tight, drop the dumbbells to the side of your head, push up and squeeze. Focus also on the eccentric portion of the rep, which is the lowering phase. It's not just about the pushing, but the lowering down is where we get a lot of strength gains as well. Good. Rest there. Up you come for the final exercise in the kickback. Hold well on, you're doing good. Final exercise of round two. Here we go, tilt forwards, long spine, elbows up, push back. Squeeze those triceps as the hands come up. Ten seconds, keep going. <sighs> Good, rest there. We have one minute of rest to grab another drink, shake it off. It's getting hard, the muscles getting pumped. We've got one more to go and then a finisher at the end. Thirty seconds before your hammer push-up. So, final round. Push yourself. Stay safe. And remember, it's consistency over time that's going to get you the results. 
not just killing yourself completely in one workout. So do what you can, stay within your zone. Let's go. Hammer, push up. Getting this depth in the push up between the dumbbells is a great way to stretch the chest a little bit more, a little bit more than normal in your push up. And it's a great way to build a bigger chest. Okay, nice. Back around you come. It's windy, I'm getting attacked by the mat. Let's take it to the chest press. Standard chest press. Out of the three chest presses that we have coming up. Standard to begin with. Here we go. Rest there, chest press complete. Let's move it into the decline or the reverse grip with the optional decline in the group bridge. I'm just sliding around all over with the mat. Let's take it in, in six, five. Palms facing towards you, optional group bridge. Stretch the chest and shoulders, squeeze it up. Good, rest there. Well done, get ready for the third chest press in the hammer grip. Okay, in three, two, one, hammer grip, elbows tight to the body, squeeze shoulder blades down, drive it up, pecs engaged. And of course, although this is a chest and tricep workout, you can't do these exercises without working the shoulders. So if your shoulders are burning more than your chest, that's okay. Maybe your shoulders really need the work. And if you get more range of motion by doing this on a bench, you'll get more chest activation. So don't worry, just keep going and really do your best to get the chest working with your mind as you push. Yes, good. That 40 seconds went fast with me talking, but still working. Get ready for the chest fly. Okay, chest fly, let's go. At the top here, drive those elbows towards each other, tense the pecs. Good. 
Good, well done. Get ready for the final two exercises in the triceps standing, starting with the tricep extension, lying, and then up into the kickback. In two, one, here we go. Elbows stay where they are, stretch and push. Keep it going, we're close to the end of this workout now. Stay focused. Well done, up you come into the kickback. Okay, you ready? Tricep kick back to finish. Let's go to finish round three. So we have an intense finisher at the end here to really finish off the chest and triceps. Stay with me to the end. Ten seconds. Okay, good. You've got 20 seconds rest before the finisher begins. And we're going to start with a push-up pulse. No dumbbells needed. Change the timer to 50 seconds work. 10 seconds rest. It's going to be an absolute killer. Are you ready? Push up position. Come up to the top with me. Come down halfway. Pulse here. Do you need to drop the knees? If so, do it now. If you need to do it halfway, like I might do, then do it then. This is it. How much have you got left in these muscles to really finish it off? Drop the ego and just push it. See what you got. Seven, six. And rest there. We're gonna take it to a push-up side step. Normal push-ups now, all the way full range of motion, but step one arm to the side, push up, and then step to the other side. Here we go, push up. Step in, step out, push up. In, out, you can do this knees down, no problem. Just keep moving. This finisher is designed to leave nothing behind. Okay, 10 seconds rest now before the final exercise in a plank tricep push-up. Okay, get down into that plank position and we're gonna isolate the triceps. Here we go, plank here, hands down, push-up. Squeeze triceps, control down. Try to limit how much movement comes from your hips and the most with your upper body. This is it, you've got 35 seconds to the end of the workout. Oh, 
Keep going, 15. Five. And rest there. Workout complete. Oh my God. Smashed it, well done. Stay with me for this very important stretch routine. Drink if you need and come onto your back for a lying torso stretch. We need to open up the chest and shoulders if you want the best recovery and injury prevention. <laughs> Lift your knees up, arms out at a T. Drop your knees to one side and allow the stretch through the torso and open up that opposite arm and shoulder to lengthen through the chest. Take deep breaths in and just relax. Knees up into the middle and over to the other side. Extend that opposite arm out. Great one for opening up the chest and shoulders there. But up you come into a tricep stretch, one arm at a time, one hand behind your back and push that elbow down, stretch off the triceps. Keep a long spine, chest up. We're coming to the final stretch, the final part of this workout. So well done for pushing you through that one. That was challenging relentless because of the 20 second rest between each of those seven exercises. Other arm, final 30 seconds. But that's how you build endurance, muscular endurance, strength and conditioning, especially in that upper body, which we're training here. So be consistent, give this video a like, so you remember it, so you can keep coming back to it to build some serious muscle in the upper body. And you will notice that your strength gains increases. So remember which, which dumbbells you've been using, shake it off, which dumbbells you've been using and realize the strength that you're gaining over repetition of this workout. And you'll notice you can either do more reps or you have to increase the weight that you're, that you're using. So well done. Please come back, do some more workouts with me. I absolutely love training with you. So give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.